remember that time Adam and Eve almost got divorced. Um, they don't really tell it that way in Sunday school, but there is a depth to these stories because they're not one-dimensional characters. They're real people. They have real feelings. They have real struggles, and they have real sins. Um, Adam and Eve ate of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, of which God had commanded them, thou shalt not eat of it. And from there, it goes downhill. Um, we know from Sunday school that uh, this is where uh, fig leaves enter the story and uh, everything becomes a little bit, uh, well, uncomfortable because they realize that they were naked. Except here's the thing, who else is in the garden? Like it's just some animals. There's nobody else there. Uh, it's just it's just them, and they can't even look at each other. They can't even talk to each other. They start hiding not just from God, but even from each other. When they talk next, they don't even talk to each other. They talk to God, blaming each other for what's wrong. Uh, Adam is confronted uh, and says, "The woman that you gave me, she did this." He doesn't talk to her. He doesn't speak for her in, in a loving sacrificial way he doesn't take the blame himself he he casts it aside adam and eve at this point in time their 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 marriage is falling apart and god intervenes and it's it's worthwhile for anybody who has grown up in a house of divorce because you get to start to recognize those stages where the thing happens that there's no going back from the thing happens that jesus died for but still has real world effects and consequences the thing happened and it has forever changed the world and for the life of you you can't figure out how to go back from it and it shuts us up in talking to each other in a way that is actually rooted in love or sacrifice or forgiveness or mercy it is something that is easier to to use as a weapon later against the person that you were given to love uh, because sin breaks stuff it, it wounds so profoundly uh that it isn't simply a question of can we get over it? Can we in of ourselves forgive it? Because, you know, we've been forgiven. It's a place where God has to intervene. God actually addresses the thing head on. He approaches Adam and Eve, hiding not just from him, but even from each other in the garden. And he asks the questions he already knows the answers to, not simply because he's trying to make them feel bad, but because we actually need to, to place the blame where it belongs, not on each other, but actually on God. He... he insists that he be the one to carry our sins and when he does this then he gives us something else he calls adam and eve out of the, the garden out of the bushes and out of the shame and out of the sin and he tells them the truth about it there's going to be some consequences here sin breaks stuff life is going to be a lot harder right now but then he clothes them in animal skins for that to happen something has to bleed something has to die I'm guessing it was a lamb that takes away the sin of the world. He covers Adam and Eve so they can finally look at each other again. He doesn't cast them out separately, but together. Because even though sin has utterly destroyed things, God works mercy in the middle of it, not simply by setting it back to how it used to be before the incident, but by promising that this forgiveness that he gives is so powerful that it doesn't have to originate from our hearts, but it gets to be for our hearts. For every time Eve was hurt by being used by Adam, Christ is crucified. By every time Adam is, is angry for, for his own sins and for the sins of his wife, Christ is crucified. That once for all sacrifice covers all sin, and it gets to be the thing that we get to address each other in. Eve is the one covered by the Lamb of God who takes, of the sin, oh, takes away the sin of the world. Adam too. It doesn't undo the sin, but it is a place to look for for forgiveness when everything else is falling apart. And so in the midst of all of these awful things, we get to recognize that God is the source of all forgiveness.